Hi, a very good day to everyone. My name is So Chi Fong, metric number 259521. And this is my informative speech on how to survive a zombie apocalypse in Northern University of Malaysia. So, have you guys ever seen the movie World War Z, Train to Busan, or perhaps the old school classic movie Night of the Living Dead? Well, I'm pretty sure you, most of the guys have seen at least one of the movie that I mentioned. And what is just one common thing situations happening between this movie? Yes, it's about zombie apocalypse. And what is zombie apocalypse all about? It's a term usually referring to a widespread global rise of zombie hostiles towards human life, which usually can be caused by warriors, mostly bacteria or another phenomena. So the remaining survivor has to regroup, find shelters and scavenging for food in order to survive in these situations regardless of the location. Have you, have you guys ever think what if the similar situations are to happen in our university? Imagine on a peaceful day when you are having a walk around the campus and suddenly chaos happens. People start to run, screaming and panicking around being chased by some mindless creature known as zombies. You may think it can never happen, of course. but one of the theories from the tech and science writer Larry Wakefield suggests that the zombie outbreak might happen through a pandemic. And pandemic, also known as global disease outbreaks such as Spanish flu, SARS, or even the one we are facing right now, the COVID-19, has caused the death of our world populations around approximately 25%. And also, also according to the World Health Organization, this virus disease outbreak throughout our history of pandemics are usually caused by or dead animals. So who knows what kind of virus or much worse stuff that we might be facing in the future. Okay, we know that we all know that the zombies are terrifying, but the main subject that I want to share today is not about zombies, but it's whether on how can we survive through a zombie apocalypse. So let me share with all of you the three major tips on how can we survive a zombie apocalypse in UUM. Now that you guys are getting a bit familiar with the topic, let us move to the first point. So, first thing first, let's say a zombie outbreak does happen and you are lucky enough not to be eaten alive right off the bat. Please immediately find a safe place for yourself to be used as a hideout or shelters. Because, just like home, a safe place can be used to protect yourself and your friends from most of the potential dangers regardless of the situations or environments. And for that, I strongly suggest you guys to find some tall places with heights that zombie could not reach easily, and it stand a better chance in surviving the zombie invasions. And since you are inside the university, there should be a lot of school, building, or campus that you may find and consider to be used as your safe house to hide yourself. Once you are inside the building, I recommend you guys find a room on the second floor level or above for more safety and security. Well, because most of the zombies portrayed in the movies are slow walkers like the one we saw in The Walking Dead. But some are really fast like from the movie Wabazi, so we don't know for sure how the zombie mobility is in reality. And along the way, try to be careful with the buildings that have a lot of people before you decide to enter as we don't know they are infected or not, and it could be dangerous. So before you start searching for the building, here are some tips. Try to secure some weapon for yourself such as crowbar, broomsticks, or many, any musical instrument will do, or any, anything that you think can be used as a weapon, just in case of emergencies. However, even, even if you have the weapons already, try to avoid any encounter with zombies along the way. Or if you do, just run quickly and hide yourself. Because According to Barry Whitex, who is a Brooklyn neuroscientist, he created a structure of zombie brains and found out that the zombie brain structure hippocampus are most likely damaged, which means the zombie will have a terrible short-term memories, and which also means you will have the higher chance of survival by running and hiding yourself instead of facing the zombie head-on. So, please find a room that you may use as your shelters once you are inside the buildings, and along the way, do remember to run and hide only, and only resort to decapitate or kill the zombies if you don't have any other choices. 
As for how to kill the zombies, I'm sure you guys know how to do it already. But if you don't, I guess you guys can learn from watching some of the infamous zombie movies. So once you found the room that you may use, be sure to secure the room by locking the door with a chair or something, close down all the window, and once you are sure it's safe and secure, it can be used as your shelters. Yes, a shelter is important for you to hide from zombies, but there won't be enough for you to survive through this apocalypse. Because the next thing you should do is search for any remaining survivor around the university and regroup with them. Because you simply cannot survive through a zombie apocalypse on your own by being a lone wolf. And what could be better than having a tons of food supplies, necessities, and a number of tools that you can use to defend yourself? Well, it's a human being that you can trust, just like your family or best friend. If anyone has ever watched the, the Walking Dead TV series shows that know that the main character, Rick Rims, has led his own group of survivors on whom he described as his families. In other words, we need to take care of each other and watch each other back in this situation to survive. So with that in mind, try to think of a way to contact your anyone you know, like your best friend, your maybe your family, your roommate or your cosmates, and find a way to find them or contact them. Because having each other person on your side actually gives you a drastically higher chance of surviving. However though, I must warn you that to be sure to group with people that you can trust that you can trust only. Because try to avoid people that have bad temper, problematics, or the people who like to have their way all the time because these people will most likely drag you now and make that you time anytime soon. In addition, once you have your group, everyone in the group has to be cooperative. Yes, group cooperation and teamwork is very crucial in these situations. Well, um, for that, maybe you can try to assign a role to everyone in your group, like how everyone take their turn to guard and sleep at the same time. This will provide a better protection for your groups. So, um, the last thing you need to know in group is, do remember to stick together. Don't be like the people we saw in the horror movie, but like there's a group of people, and then they saw a strength building, and before they stupidly inside, decide to enter the building, they split up like say, hey, why don't you go this way? I go this way and you go that way. And then to be killed one by one, I don't know, depend on the movie, the monster, cloud, zombie or something. So don't be like them, do remember to stick together and I'm sure you guys will be fine. So just like any group assignment, event management or activities, group cooperation and teamwork is very important and surviving a zombie apocalypse is not as efficient as well. So now I guess you guys know the reading of two is better than one, right? Last but not least, the thing you should do is try to gather as much necessary essential supplies as possible for your zombie survival kits. And when I say essential supplies, of course I mean foods, tools, medical kits, or any other disposable tool that you may use in these situations. Well, with that in mind, try to devise a plan carefully with your groups to search for supplies. And for that, you can consider searching at any available convenience store, cafeteria, or even the malls located inside the universities. The nearest to your shelter will be better. And once you have found your location to search for supplies, the first thing you should search for is food. And for food, I will suggest you to find some food that may last longer, such as canned food, water, biscuit, or any food that you found may be suitable in these situations. So aside from food supplies, you also need some other useful tools for you and your friends' convenience. And the tools that I mean can be torchlight, battery backpacks, bags, or even clothes that you may find for you to use. So do remember also to look for medical kits in your university health centers or maybe the clinics because medicine, medicine and medical kits are very important to treat any injuries as long as it's not bitten by zombies. Then it's game over for you. And just imagine that you guys are going for camping trips. And before you guys go for the trip, of course you guys will think of what are the needs that you guys should bring for the trips. And it's kind of similar something like that. So the last thing you should remember is please use your nurses 
essential supplies wisely only when it is truly needed because you don't know how long you are going to survive in these universities and the supplies that you found may be limited so it's very important so that your group may hold up until the helps arrive if there's any let's say if you're lucky the government may send help from the outside anytime soon for the rescues but if it doesn't then your group may probably have to plan for the next move which most probably will be involving planning exit outside to the university as the resources inside the university will be run out eventually so all these informations are the important guidelines for you and your friends to survive through the zombie apocalypse in university especially in conclusions it's important to remain calm in case a zombie outbreak happens stay alert all the time think fast and follow all the guidelines that I mentioned most of the people think that zombie apocalypse is unrealistic but to be honest with everything happening in the world right now, anything is possible, in my opinion. And because of that, it's never wrong to be prepared first. You guys have seen through many disasters happen before, uh, even now. And the zombie apocalypse could be, could be one of them as well, who knows. So, I hope all this information will help you guys out. Thank you.